There were various men in the American Southwest who went by the moniker Billy the Kid. However, the one that most people think of was variously known as Henry McCarty, Henry Antrim, Kid Antrim, William H. Bonney, Billy Bonney, and sometimes just the Kid. He was a soldier in range wars, a cattle rustler, a horse thief, but he was also universally described as charming, funny, a good singer, and good dancer, at least bilingual, and an avid reader. I was a good-looking kid. Way with the women. <laughs> Dresses like a dandy and he's a left-hander. And people say he's fond of whistling sad ballads. Even by frontier standards, he was young. He was high-spirited, and as his notoriety grew, so did his cockiness. And yet, with the good cheer came a surprising ruthlessness. Though quick with a joke, he did not hesitate before pulling the trigger. According to Robert M. Utley's definitive Billy the Kid, by the time his life ended on July 14, 1881, at age 21, Billy had killed four men for certain, one perhaps, and participated in killing perhaps five more. He was a wanted young man, for deaths, sure, for horse theft, of course, but mostly because of the cattle that went missing. Meanwhile, Pat Garrett was a man of the times. Nine years older than Billy, he'd been a buffalo hunter, hired gun, and cowboy before he ran for sheriff of Lincoln County, New Mexico, on a law and order platform. He was appointed deputy sheriff for the last two months of 1880 before taking office in January 1, 1881. At the same time, he served as a deputy U.S. Marshal. The two men knew each other and had socialized with one another, although it might be a stretch to call them friends. Billy's arrest found him in Garrett's custody. Garrett was well aware that Billy was a cockeyed optimist when it came to hopes for escape. Garrett would later write in his own autobiography of Billy, I knew the desperate character of the man, that he was daring and unscrupulous, and that he would sacrifice the lives of a hundred men who stood between him and liberty. As they talked, Garrett said that, Billy expressed no enmity towards me, but he evinced respect and confidence in me, acknowledging that I had only done my duty without malice and treated him with marked leniency and kindness. Garrett was correct in his estimation of the kid. Billy was a legendary man who had managed to escape incarceration more than once, and that included his last escape from the custody of Sheriff Garrett. On his way to freedom, Charming Billy killed two of his jailers. After the escape, Garrett set out to remove Billy from the landscape one way or another. Garrett learned that the kid had been in and out of Sumner, New Mexico, and was staying there with Pete Maxwell. On the evening of July 14th, Garrett waited inside Maxwell's bedroom. In the dark, Billy had gone to cut a slice of meat. Returning to the building with pistol in one hand, knife in the other, Billy was startled and instead of opening fire, hesitated, repeatedly asking in Spanish, who is it? Garrett fired twice, hitting Billy once and killing him. Garrett went on to be a rancher, customs collector, sheriff of another county, and terrible gambler. He was plagued by debt in his later years, and while his ranch holdings weren't anywhere near profitable, their locations were desirable for water rights and staging grounds for, shall we say, nefarious activities. His end wasn't particularly glamorous. He had stopped his wagon on a lonely road about four miles east of Las Cruces, New Mexico, in order to empty his bladder. In the midst of the act, he was shot in the back of the head. He was 57. A man named Wayne Brazel confessed to the killing of Garrett, but a later trial cleared him of any wrongdoing. The lack of an in-depth investigation has led to many conspiracy theories surrounding Garrett's death, although the truth of the matter will likely never be known. Regardless, even the man who shot charming, murderous Billy the Kid deserved a better end than a bullet while watering the desert. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite historical figures are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.